Now let me take you back for a second or two Childhood raps take you back for a minute When times were more simple and you lived with your parents Before you went to college and you started paying taxes Remember these shows that you watched as a kid Childhood raps take you back Okay passengers, so I hope your day has been going good Mine, not quite as well as I want it to I haven't driven nearly as many miles as I would like today But you know what, that's okay because we're finishing this day out with watching an episode of Tangled, and the episode we're watching today is Tangled Season 2, Episode 5. I can't remember what the name of the episode was. I always see it when I'm downloading it, but I can't ever remember the title. Um, But yeah, um, last episode we went through the Forest of No Return, got a little bit of extra Adira there, and I love it. I absolutely adore Adira. But, I've got to go to the whiteboard because I put a lot on there. <laughs> and I am quite proud of that. So, it's going to be up there for at least two to three videos because I put a lot of effort in fitting all that up there. <laughs> Weird jump cut there, I know. But, you know what? Over to the whiteboard we go. You were overcome by something everyone falls to. Doubts. You were made to believe that made you special and could be taken away, but no one can take it away. It's yours alone. And if you hear the plane, that's the location I'm in tonight. I'm three miles from the warehouse, and we have planes fly overhead. So, with that said, it is from, I believe, Winx Club. And knowing me, I probably wrote that down wrong somehow, because whenever that many words is involved, it gets jumbled in my head. And I messed something up. Just like when I'm putting furniture together, there's always a piece on the furniture that I put upside down, such as bookshelves and, you know, desk and stuff like that. There's always one piece on that flipping desk or that bookshelf that I get upside down. But it was suggested from Ed Dog 6666. So, yeah. And let me go ahead and share y'all my addiction to Dollar Tree. This is why I'm addicted to Dollar Tree. You can buy so much stuff for a dollar. Got me some candy here. They call them peanut butter kisses, but I've never seen those kind of kisses. And I got me like 80 now or later for like $2 a piece. Well, $1, $1, $2 for all of them. And then I had another bag of candy, but I ate it already. Then we got movies. I got two fairy. I'm keeping that one. Because that's actually the first movie me and the wife watched together. She might not remember it, but I do. Secret Life of Mitty, that one's going to Second and Charles, and I'm getting store credit for it. Paper Towns, another one going to Second and Charles and store credit. And these, I mean, alleged, I don't know what that's about. Just Shoot Me, the first season, that's a pretty good one. Uh, Yoga Hosers, don't know what that's about. JLA, Trapped in Time, I actually already got this one from Dollar Tree. So I don't know what I'm going to do with that, but Back to the Future. Season 1. I believe that's all they had. Maybe they had two seasons. Not entirely sure. So, over there goes though. Um, yeah, so we last left off with them getting out of the Forest of No Return. And, yeah. Now we're here. Episode 5. So, yeah. Um, can't remember what it's about. So, headphones. They're on. Three, two, one, and play. Mm, that's weird. I forgot to say skip. Oh, well. So we're in the forest. A peaceful forest. This was supposed to be a quick bathroom break, not a meditation. I was multitasking. See, that's why I don't like Shorty. Look at this view. I don't need that kind of humor. Just inspire you? You know what I find inspiring? Teach their own though. Getting from point A to B without stopping the marvel at every meadow, valley, pond, and knoll along the way. Hey, what's this for? <laughs> <laughs> See? Fun. Yeah, I was about to say, that's her kind of fun. <laughs> and there's that meditation. Is everybody okay? I thought I heard a child scream. It was just land. <laughs> the wheel's broken. Don't worry, I can fix it. Really, just standing in weird ways. Oh! No, brother. This could be a while. 
It means we have time for a little adventure. And seeing as this is the most beautiful forest I have ever seen, I say we take a hike. Take a hike? Come on. Yeah, please, go away. You and me, Catspal. <laughs> okay. That was pretty good. He called the scale Catspell. Cat Cat or we could just hang out here. Look at my triceps. Anybody want to play horseshoes? Come on. Explore it is. Yes! Ah, uh, this is pretty reminiscent of Rapunzel's first day out of the tower when she was with Flynn Rider. Yes, I said Flynn Rider because that's the past. Well, I've seen a lot of trees in my life, but these are some of them. Angel Bunny! Do you even know where you're going? You know, it didn't even look like Angel Bunny, really. Fun. Yeah, real fun. Undeniable. Yeah. Probably. No, you don't go making friends with weirdos in the woods. My name is Rapunzel. This is my even the birds. All exist because of this teapot. I, I don't understand. How would you like to enjoy our very modest forest as a bird? Please don't be alarmed. It is, um. It can't be. Oh, but it is, and it is most What's the ultimate goal of this episode? Are they trying to? Turn them into birds as pets, or whatever. Let's go with it. Uh, look, um, I, I'm, I'm usually up for anything, but this is um, insane. Rapunzel as a bird. Are you kidding me? <laughs> and Cassandra as a bird. We're birds. Okay. Um. <laughs> okay. Okay, you two really need to remember that there's birds on that tree. Counting on it. They didn't get their ma- well, yeah, they did get there magically. But, hey, we got a song. I'm not gonna lie. I'm not feeling this song. Maybe it's because they're in bird form or... I don't know. Okay, I get what they're going for in this song. It's a song of freedom, but... Nah, I'm not feeling it. I'd say their worst song of the series so far. You know, for the first time, I'd rather know what Shorty and Pascal's doing as opposed to what them three guys are doing. Oh, how lovely. Look, Father, unforeseen gas. What a delightful transpiration. I'm sure you would, dear. But it pains me to say we have different desires. <sighs> We need those to change back. Thank you. I was trying to point those birds out earlier. Art collection to which we're always adding new pieces. <gasps> Wait, those are all people. Indeed, for people make the most beautiful one of a kind birds. This trail of black rocks is your destiny, but I dropped everything to make sure you get to the end of it. I'm taking this seriously. Why aren't you? Hmm. Because I'm scared. Oh. You're right, Cass. These rocks are that messy, and that's terrifying. Is what if they lead to? I don't know. I don't really have words for that statement. She is scared, so. We're home. A hook foot still has a hook. Nice. Oh gosh. That means Shorty and Pascal are going to save the day somehow. 
That Lee Shorty's gonna come in handy. Oh my yes, we can totally do this. All three of you, yes. <laughs> oh, you see that? Together we're unstoppable. That's right. You know it. And it doesn't matter who's stronger. <sighs> Oh, it most definitely does. Yeah, you're right. Come on. Ooh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Y'all are guys. What is the meaning of this? Um, okay. She looks like some sort of seagull. Mature egress will be most disappointed. I'll draw the hawk away. You guys get this. Oh, hawk. Okay. Oh. Yeah, why well, weren't y'all doing that before? I will go get those eggs. You guys free the other birds. You would figure she would stop chasing Cassandra and start getting them. It's obviously not going to happen. You're my best friend. Oh, please don't leave me. Ah, right, you got a pet now. Whoa, wait. Whoa. That was fast. Oh, okay. So everything goes back to the way it was. Since she busted that, right? Yeah, of course Rapunzel's gonna stay here. There's a season three coming. Oh wait, season three's out now. Shorty? Oh, please, please work. Am I the only one craving worm? I know I am. Wait. I'm so confused. Technically, I was right. Shorty did well, save the day. Right, let's lift this thing. I should probably get it. Guys, sorry, but we really gotta get going. <laughs> yeah, I mean, you know, of course. Uh -huh. yeah, uh, I think we should probably. <laughs> nice. All right, I'll get it. No, Eugene, we got it. <laughs> Okay, okay. Um I was Oh my gosh. Um <laughs> I don't think the plot's going to come back whatsoever. But at least we did get the revelation that Rapunzel's pretty much putting on a front, you know, because she's scared of what lies at the end of the road. She's, you know, got this giddy, upbeat attitude, like, oh, you know, granted, she normally does have that, but lately she's more into it than ever because she's scared. And that's quite a thing to be admitting, is that, you know, I don't know the right words that I'm trying to look for right here, but it's hard to admit, though, sometimes that you're scared of what lies ahead of you and what lies in front of you. The future can be scary. So that's a good message that this is sending is, look, hey, whatever the future is, because Cassandra's told her flat out, look, hey, whatever it is at the end of this road, I got you back. I'm here with you. You know, we end this together. You don't have to face it alone. So that's a good message that it's sending to people saying, hey, look, you could be scared of the future, but don't worry, you got people who, you know, are there for you. You can take the future together and you don't have to be alone with it. So I think that's a very, very good message to be sending. So, <sighs> granted, I was a little bit wrong with a lot of the stuff in there. Like, I know I was saying something about Shorty's probably going to have to come in, save the day and all this. Technically, he did. 
I don't know where he got the tea from to be a bird, nor do I understand why he was the bird who was laying the eggs that would end up <laughs> making them where they were human again. Um, there's a lot of questions. Maybe I just missed something. I, I, I don't, I don't quite know. Um, maybe I spaced out there for a moment. I have no idea, but all reality is I should be editing right now because as of this recording, I've got five other videos to be editing, and one of those is, well, three of those is My Little Pony, Season 9, Episode 24, 25, and 26. So, I've got a lot of editing still to do, and by the time this reaction is up anyway, those will be edited and uploaded. I probably won't even have this up for another week, honestly, um, but you never know. I might have it up Sunday or, you know, whatever day. I have no idea. Um, other than that, though, there ain't much else to say other than this was a pretty good episode filler for the most part but it did have that little bit sprinkled in and that was worth it just for that little bit so with that said it is y'all's turn leave them comments down below hit the like tickle to subscribe don't be texting and driving and as mr rogers always says and i like you as you are i do